I have been joined by former Union Minister Mr. P. Chidambaram. Sir, what do you have to say about the statement which was given today in the Parliament, especially in Rajya Sabha, by the Raksha Mantri? What was the content of the statement? I read exactly what the statement said in this morning's newspaper at six o'clock. At six o'clock, this was all available. That there was a clash and none of our soldiers were killed or injured. The defence minister said nothing more than what was available to us uh, at six o'clock in the morning. There was nothing in that statement. But the situation which is panning out at LOC, we have seen since Doklam until now. What to make of the situation there, sir? Is it very full of tension or it's serious, sensitive? The situation is indeed grave. I'm happy that our jawans put up a brave and stiff resistance. But the fact is that the Chinese are choosing the date, time, and place of the incursion. Now, what gives the Chinese the courage and the confidence that they can choose the date, time, and place of entering Indian territory? I think that requires to be reflected upon and discussed. But the government won't allow a discussion, and to say that. There has never been a precedent. is completely wrong. I can cite straight away two precedents. When the Anna Hazari agitation was there, the Prime Minister made a statement on behalf of the government, and there was a full discussion for seven hours in the Rajya Sabha. Again, when the Lokpal uh, bill was being moved, there was a statement by the government, and there was a full discussion. So it's not correct to say that there be no discussion following a statement by the minister on behalf of the government. The reasoning which was given by the deputy speaker, the chairperson of the Raj Sabha. Well, I didn't quite um, follow what he said, and I don't want to comment on the deputy chairman's uh, statement. But the fact is, there are precedents. There have been precedents where a full-scale discussion took place following a statement made by the minister. My final question, sir. Home Minister came out and gave a statement that opposition, particularly Congress, is trying to divert the attention because of the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation funds issue. Next, he will say because the government cancelled the FCRA registration of Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, the Chinese intruded into India. Well, that was Mr. Chidambaram speaking to India today. This is Prabhu Hardwaj in Delhi reporting for the Parliament.